We are here in Walkerton, Ontario at a drive test center. Laura is currently out taking her M2 exit test right now. Let's wish her luck. Here in Ontario, we have graduated licensing. It goes, it goes in three stages. There's your, your motorcycles, it's M1, M2, and then not M3, but your full M. Your M1 is just a simple, multiple choice written test. If you happen to pass, then you are given your M1, which is good for up to 90 days, but you have to have it for a minimum period of 60 days, in which time you are not allowed to take passengers, you are not allowed to drive on freeways, which I believe are all 400 series highways they classify it as. Could be wrong on that. And let's see, no alcohol tolerance, home by dark. To get out of your M1, it is highly recommended that you take the approved motorcycle training course. It is not a necessity, but most insurance companies these days will not touch you unless you have taken it. In that test, I think it consists of, well, when I did it, I had to drive around a series of pylons and idling in first gear, showing they have care and control of the motorcycle. And then the second part of the test, I had to drive down the street while they watched me. And they show, I had to show a proper lane position, show I was able to accelerate, decelerate the bike. And what else was there? Well, you had to do an emergency stop, make sure that you don't wipe out. Basically show you have control of the motorcycle. The only restriction on your M2 license is zero alcohol tolerance. You're allowed to go on the freeway, you're allowed to carry passengers, you're allowed to stay out after dark. Everything but the zero alcohol tolerance, which probably isn't a bad idea on a motorcycle. Your M2 license is good for up to five years, but you have to have it for a minimum of 22 months before you can take your M2 exit test. Or if you had taken the course, like I recommended, you can, after 18 months, go for your full M. Which there's also another course, which is highly recommended. Or you can go straight to the road test, which was what Laura's currently doing. When I did the test that Laura is currently doing, I had to do mine in London, Ontario, in which we had to go down uh, multiple lane city streets and then out onto a freeway show some lane changes show the on and off ramps then through a residential area show do an emergency stop on the bike as if there's something wrong with your bike get back on the bike signals do you gotta make sure you do a lot of head checks oh it's like your head's on a, you're a bobblehead it's just constantly pivoting big tip Stop behind white lines. They want to make sure you haven't learned any bad habits. If you pass this test, then you should have your full M and that lasts you for the rest of your life. 